the big gun and smile. You can't tell us that. As soon as the niggas start running out, she'll be creeping to another cow. Hey, hey, I'm just creeping to the store because I am in search of some components for my dressing today. Actually, I'm just going to pick some up while I'm out. But again, with your components, you're going to need a fat. I either have almond butter to work with, raw, unsalted almond butter, or clearly raw hold hemp seeds, which I always have because y'all will think that bag from Costco's is kind of expensive at like I don't know $12 but it's not because it lasts a long dang time and then you're going to need your acid which would be your lemon your lime your apple cider vinegar your brightness you know your BAM so I'm gonna need some lemons then you're gonna need your salting component do you want to have celery do you want to have dulse do you want to have kelp with cayenne you know and then you're going to need your other component of sweet which could be dates or raisins, you know, and then you, you're gonna have a flavor enhancer. Also, you're going to have a bodybuilder. Like, do you, I love to stretch out the fats in my dressing so I can have a lot, you know, almost like my salad is swimming. But yet, not with the toxic laden crap most people put on their salad that they might as well just leave the greens for me, okay? Because they're killing themselves with the standard American diet dressing. So, going to want a lot of dressing so I'm going to need a bodybuilder component so I'm going to stretch that out with something very neutral like a zucchini peeled so it's just the the light inside usually I use the seeded part that I can't um julienne or spiralize and or you could use um yellow squash you could use eggplant which for some reason people think have a has a bitter taste but hello peel it is the is the outer shell of the eggplant that has that it's a great it's also great to um dehydrate and use for a wrap but that's not the point also you could use um cucumber you could use mushrooms which some people don't like mushrooms my daughter can't stand those but the thing is you can't taste them in a dressing they're just a neutral bodybuilder so that you can stretch your dressing out more so i will be coming back down a little bit with a fabulous dressing recipe and uh y'all will like it right Hey, hey. <laughs> Don't nobody worry about me. <laughs> Give me Let me be. I'm alright. <laughs> I'm alright. In case y'all were wondering, and you have got to try out this very quick and delicious dressing. It has all of Let's say one, two, three, four, five ingredients for five ingredients, five seconds to love right here. You see that? Mmm, taste it. Here's what we have. First of all, let me sit you right here. Stay on the paprika jar. So professional. Okay, so first of all, girls, if you have not tried these eyebrows, hello, it is the end to the underwear bra with the lift without the wire. You all have to have it. It is the summertime freedom bra, but that's not the point. Here is your large romaine ready to go. And then in this dressing, here's what it is. Get your paper and your pencil because this is a fast, delicious recipe. As soon as I find it, here it is. So you have half of a lemon peeled, and um, I didn't peel the other half, but it was about this big, half of a large lemon. Peel off the yellow and flick the seeds. Put that in your blender. Then you want to have one tablespoon of raw almond butter. If I'm ever going to eat a nut butter, it is always in a dressing and it's always over a mammoth amount of greens. I'm going to eat about four bowls of this in a little while. Do you see? Probably about dinner. I'll have an early dinner. It's three now, so maybe about 5 30. Um, but I have this one right here. This is called Destiny. And it is almond butter, 100% organic, raw, and stone ground. Bam. Very delicious. Non-GMO, stone ground, raw, organic, gluten-free, artisan quality, smooth. Bam. Very delicious. If y'all have not tried this brand, I don't know if you can see that. Um, okay, so we have one tablespoon of that. It might have been about a tablespoon and a half. Then I had two really large stalks of celery. They're, they're running about this size, so very large and fresh. I like the ones that are lighter like this, so they're so tasty. But that's gonna create a very salty um, 
experience in your dressing. This is a good one. Um, I had about a third of a mango that was this size, okay? So basically just a meat out of two pieces like this that I can, of course, flip this inside and suck the meat off that, right? That, we'll do that in a minute off camera. Okay, and then we have, um, oh yes, I had two of your small peppers thrown in there. That is all that's in there. There's no water. There are no seasonings. There are no nothing but that, and it's delicious. If you want to bulk it up so there's more bulk, throw in the middle of some zucchinis. Um, I really didn't need to because I had the celery and it gave me a little bit of mass on this. But um, if you want more, more volume without more fat, add the middle of a zucchini. It's not going to take any flavor down. It's still going to be delicious, but that's up to you. So um, that's the ingredients. And here's what it looks like. I want y'all to see how it looks on the pulver, okay? Y'all see that? Very tasty. Don't be weirded out, it's just me eating that, okay? And then I'm gonna have some little peppers. This is just simple. I just like to be simple, and I find that even when I'm combining, like, it's funny because I would never eat a mango and a spoon of um, almond butter together, but I can blend it in a dressing over greens, and I seem to be able to tolerate that fine. And there's, there's a lot of um, controversy about whether food combining has any relevance or any legitimacy, and I think it does. If you're a person with gut problems, you can definitely understand what I'm saying. So I'm going to put some fresh pepper on this because, after all, I like the spicy, right? So I'm going to show you what this looks like. It's easy as that, y'all. Let me show you. Look at that. Doesn't that look tasty and fresh? Also, I'm going to be coming to y'all with a, um, a creamy corn soup. So, see, you could easily have like a raw corn soup with that, making sure that it's non GMO corn. This is very important. But, um, and you could add your fat into your, your corn chowder style soup if you're not eating that with your dressing. But since I am, I would make a non fat corn chowder. Do you see that? So, I just want to come to y'all with a fast recipe, and I hope you jotted that down because it is yummerific. <laughs> Go brawless and make raw vegan dressing, right? <laughs> Are y'all dancing? Tanya feels all right. Look at this. <laughs> Festive. See y'all later. Break my heart. Make me promises, promises. Y'all, I have had an epiphany, is that this new mood ring, it, it enjoys the ebb and flow of Tanny, you know, and it, it, it enjoys and understands my mood. So, I would just like to announce that Tanny Raw is going to marry this mood ring, okay? <laughs> Turn it up! <laughs> you might not want to film that, we'll get copyright. Christopher and I were just watching somebody funny on YouTube, and I don't know her name, but she was like, and then I saw Tiny Raw, and Tiny Raw was all raw, and on this vibration, and she was perfect, and I looked at Christopher, and he looked at me, and we said, no! <laughs>